my friends. I am here with another story to read to you. Uh, this week we are going to be working on learning more about magnets and um, we'll be doing this for a couple of weeks and so I thought it would be great if I could read you some of the stories that I had planned on reading you in class but here on a YouTube video. This story is called Magnets Pulling Together and Pushing Apart written by Natalie Rosinski and illustrated by Cherie Boyd. Here's the table of contents. So if you were reading this on a second reading and you just wanted to find a particular part, the table of contents would make that easier to read. Amazing magnets. Try to move my chair. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Amazing magnets. Magnets have the amazing power to make things move. When strings pull and lift things, it's easy to see how they work. Magnets seem to make things move as if by magic. Watch a paper clip scoot to a magnet. The paper clip slides along as if it is pulled by an invisible string. Magnets pull only on special kinds of metal. Try to move on a steel spoon or an iron nail with a magnet. Now try a ball of cotton, a rubber ball, or a plastic pen. You can experiment and we will be doing that this week. How do magnets work? Magnets can only pull on things that are close enough to them. Put a paper clip far away from a magnet. Slowly move your paper clip closer and closer. How close does it get before it leaps towards the magnet? Magnets can work through a covering if it is thin enough. Lay a sheet of paper over your magnet and place the paper clip on top of the paper. Or try putting a piece of plastic wrap on the corner of your shirt on top or the corner of your shirt on top of the magnet. What happens to the paper clip now? So how thick of a material can you put between a magnet and the metal object for the magnet to still pull? Dangle an iron nail from the end of a magnet. Now, touch a paper clip to the nail. The paper clip sticks to the nail. The nail has become a magnet. When some metal objects touch or get close enough to magnets, the metal objects become magnets themselves. Pull the nail away from the magnet. Does the paper clip still cling to the nail? Rub a steel spoon along a magnet. You can feel the spoon being pulled toward the magnet's ends. These ends are called poles. Poles, P-O-L-E-S. A magnet's power is strongest at its two ends. One end is called the North Pole and the other is called the, you guessed it, South Pole. Fun fact, if you break a magnet apart, you have two new magnets. Each separate piece has its own north and south pole. And magnets are different shapes. So this here we'll be using next um, in our experiments that we're doing. But refrigerator magnets, the shape probably of a circle or a rectangle, um, those you can test as well. The poles of the magnet can push as well as pull. Poles that are alike repel each other. The north pole of one magnet will push away the north pole of another magnet. Fun fact, in Japan, some high-speed trains use extra strong magnets. Magnets on the train repel or they push against magnets in the track. The train seems to glide on a cushion of air. 
opposite poles attract each other. One magnet's north pole will stick to the south pole of another magnet. So some magnets uh, will attract and some will repel depending on which end of the magnet is meeting the other end. Magnetic Earth. Earth is a giant magnet. It has two ends or poles, just like other magnets. Earth's magnetic ends are close to the north and south poles that are shown on the top of the map. Magnetic pole on the north and the south. The cold north pole and south pole covered with ice are not the same as Earth's two magnetic poles. All right, I am going to stop the book. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is for the next reading, I'm going to read the last few pages and then give you some ideas for experiments that you can practice. Okay, guys, I hope you've learned something new about magnets today. Think about those words, attract and repel, north and south ends of a magnet, and see if you can explore a little bit. All right, I'll see you soon.